Welcome everybody, so many people actually did ask me about my UI setup. Just to make everything clear, this is the LVI interface. Uh, the other add-on I only use is the details for DPS meters. I don't use any other things, so you can find it in the launcher, in add-on section. As you can see, I uh, yeah I also have deadly boss mods. Uh, so I only have the details and LVI. As you can see, you can download them directly from the launcher. Absolutely no problem. So in the description, you can actually find uh, the import string to copy. So there's a link in the description. You copy paste this. You get this very strange, very long uh, import string. You literally copy this. Then you go back to your WoW client, you go to LVI, you go to Profiles, and here you get Import Profile, you just paste it here, and Import Now. You name it yourself, let's go. And everything should be set up as you see on the screen. Easy peasy. There are uh, some different like options that you can check on the LVI, for example the debuff pages, because I also use uh, the weak auras uh, for custom like spell tracking and stuff like that dot things when I'm playing like a dot class. So a lot of my uh, like general stuff like uh, tracking the debuffs or buffs above myself are usually disabled. You can control it by going into the unit frames and then you go either player or target. And then you can, here you can check things like buffs for example or debuffs. As you see, I've got debuffs enabled, just to see this, uh, but buffs are disabled. If I click enable, I can also see my buffs myself, but usually it's just a big clusterfuck of things, so I that's why I have this enabled. Uh, debuffs are usually enabled on my target, uh, mainly due to the fact that it's quite useful from time to time, but when I play like a dot class specifically, I use weak auras to track the very specific spells or dots I want to see like, uh, I don't know, poisons, uh, bleeds, or dots from Warlock or Shadow Priest, stuff like that. Uh, so you've got plenty of stuff in here, you just choose which window you want to use. And you click buffs or debuffs, you can enable or disable it automatically. automatically. Other than that, you shouldn't really uh, worry about uh, any different things in here. Uh, there's a small space in here, as you can see. This is usually the place where my totems are put. Uh, this empty space above the micro bar is actually where the pet uh, buttons are. Uh, so everything is tight and nice in here. And down here, I've got my like stances or stealths, you know, uh, buffs, debuffs, like toggle on, toggle off stuff. So uh, it's all nice and easy. Here, the space is quite empty. Otherwise, I use my main spells in here. Keybinds can be different, of course. You need to set them up manually to your preferences. I usually use uh, one to five buttons. Then I've got uh, R, V, Control, V, T, uh, mouse button, middle mouse button, Control, tilde, and uh, fizzle on tilde as well. And then I've got Control, one to five, Shift, one to five, uh, A and D, because I use Q and A for strafing. And then I also got Alt 1 to 5, and I've got modifiers like F, Ctrl F, Ctrl R, uh, Shift R, Shift F, Ctrl D, and Ctrl A. Uh, that's what I usually do. But it's up to you to decide. Uh, when it comes to weak auras, I can show you like very basic ones. Uh, as you can see, I've got shit loads of those. <laughs> like in the middle, I've got debuffs. Those are usually procs I use. But if you want to create a debuff, uh, like a proc, let's say, uh, I think I've got... wait a minute. Let's say that, for example, because I'm using the Flame On uh, Legendary Engine, so I want to see uh, where my three stacks of Fire Blast are ready to uh, dish out. And there are usually two things. You can use either Spell Name or Spell ID. Uh, usually Spell ID is more most accurate, but not the ID you can see on the screen right now, but the ID from the actual debuff that you can check on the target damage, for example. <clears throat> but we're gonna get into that in a second. Uh, I open my weak auras windows, or it's either click on minimap or slash WA. And then let's say I'm gonna put like new aura. There are a couple of different things to uh, here, but I want the texture, for example. 
just to see a very nice proc above my head. I can pick up my texture. You click here on the choose. You've got like texture is the very first thing you see on the display. So it's quite easy to find. You click the choose. Then I usually use the blizzard ones because they, yeah, they look quite cool and very clean. So we go for blizzard alerts from the top menu. But then you've got like the usual ones that Blizzard have been using over past years. For example, this is a very nice one, the Impact. You just click it, you can name it. Impact, for example. There you have it. And uh, as you can see, you can already see it. You can place it wherever you want. You can just, you know, resize it as you please. Uh, there's also like alpha mm, settings in here. Where was that? Oh my god, I'm blind. Alpha, here it is. Because, you know, sometimes it completely covers your screen, so I like to put it on, like, uh, around 75. So it's visible, but it's not, like, completely uh, cluttering my screen, so... But that's, of course, that, of course, depends on you. But the most important thing, you go into the tab here, Trigger, and then you use uh, Unit. You have to choose whether it is a buff or debuff on the enemy. Uh, so I choose a player or a type. Uh, we choose a buff, because this is a buff. And then we have two choices. We either put a name. So let's check this out. I'm going to put flame on exclamation mark. It seems that it's working, uh, so it's fine. But if it doesn't work, what I usually do is I just go out for the dummies. I proc this. And as you can see, you need to use this ID. It's 965560. You see, it's completely different from the ID that we see. Uh, on the actual engine so those differ like almost 100 percent of the time so you have to be aware of that let's check again it's five six five five six zero okay you need to be out of combat to be able to use weak auras five six five and then you go instead of name you can put exact spell id then you go uh five six five five six zero okay and as you can see you can check it you've got strange ids in here but here you've got actually the debuff name so you have you you don't have to use both of those you can choose either i usually try to use it with a name but very often times it doesn't find the proc then i have to use the id but yeah if it works i just use flame on and for example this is pretty much already set up as you can see if i'm gonna go good once again it's gonna show up but I actually want three stacks. So to do so, we need to go there back again. And we simply go down a little bit and we choose stack count. We take the operator. So it's like bigger, smaller or equal in this case. So it's exactly three stacks and click OK. And it's pretty much ready. You can now see that I need to cast Scorch three times to be able to pull off a three stack fire blast. Because, as you can see, it's one stack, nothing shows up, and this is going to be the third stack. There you go, you've got nice proc in here, and bang, big damage 4k. <laughs> it's nice, especially in PvP, but uh, back onto the topic. So, that actually sets up your, like, proc things. If you want an aura, uh, I have, for example, Power Word Shield. This is going to be a nice indicator. So I'm going to go for a new aura. This time around, I want not texture, but the icon is going to be, like, more visible let's say i'm gonna use name it power word oh, power word shield enter and uh, this is a direct spell so usually the ids from the spell are correct and it's actually shorter than the uh, like uh, name of the spell so it's easier to do uh this play is actually this time around not really mandatory you just will have this spell icon in here the only thing you may want to check is the, you've got like background and the text. In here you've got like display text and you've got like this whole cool tip. And you can see what exactly does this uh, icon will show. So in here we've got like percent %s, which means stacks. We are not stacking this, so it's useless for us. So I want to show with the remaining timer. So what I do is I replace it with percent P and then OK. And as you can see, based on the tooltip, it's going to show us the progress. So the remaining time of a timer. As you can see, it also showed up on the icon very nicely. You can resize it. You can uh, like replace it, stuff like that. You can do all different shit with it in those uh, 
many options, let's say, possibilities. But of course, we go to the trigger. Once again, this is a, a player a buff, so we keep that name. We can go with Power Word Shield, or we can click Exact Spell ID, and we go for 10098. 10098. Okay, as you can see, Power Word Shield very nicely. Then we click off this, click it. Very nice icon with a timer on. Uh, there are, I think, you can do also go to display, enable swipe. This will actually, some people prefer it instead of the timer. I like to have both usually, but this will also show you like the remaining time in, timer on the like this swipe animation. So it's like easier to track sometimes rather than, you know, look directly onto the timer. So very easy to set up. Not big deal. Those are like the two basic ones uh, we want to use. Same goes, for example, if you want the debuff on the target. So we're going to go for like a new aura. I'm going to go for an icon. We're going to go ignite. We're going to go for uh, enable swipe. We're going to go not for stacks, but for progress. I want it to be like the timer to be bigger. You can also put it on the center so it's nicer. You've got like plenty of stuff like anchors, format options. I like deleted the uh, post dot numbers so it's like easier to see. And then we go for trigger. Now we're going to change to target. Uh, we're going to change for buff debuff. It's usually the best just to take this one because you don't have ignite de uh, buff. So, but just to be specific, let's go for debuff. I'm going to put name ignite. And as you can see, there are plenty of ignites. So it's not a great indicator. So we need to get the exact spell ID. It's uh, 12654. But uh, you may you may have seen, but it's already working, actually. Even with this uh, name. <laughs> so that's nice. So let's just put it like, I don't know, even right here just to see it properly. And then we go for Big Scorch, as you can see, Ignite, very nicely shown. And Big Ignite, actually. Takes for 3k almost. So yeah, you can set up debuffs like dots. You can also, like, uh, click, because usually it shows, like, all debuffs. And uh, when you're doing, when you're playing around with the debuffs, make sure to match only the uh, own. Own only. This one's gonna show, like, only the dots that you put on, because otherwise you're gonna see the other dots. It's useful, for example, I don't know, for Sunder stacks, for example, uh, in like Classic WoW and stuff, so you can you can also use it. But yeah, when it comes down to debuff, make sure that this is actually checked, uh, so you see your own debuffs for that. Now I'm going to show you real quick a small trick, guys, uh, how you can get underneath Orgrimmar, just a small tip uh, from, from Uncle Venario. So you go... You climb up to this little thing, then uh, usually it's best to have like some kind of uh, demonic leap or things like that. Then you jump on this very building. You go up here, and you can very easily jump into through the invisible wall, and there you go. You're under the Orgumar, and you can freely explore this place under the texture. Getting under and under in under stormwind is actually much much more difficult, uh, but yeah, it's actually an empty shell, <laughs> so much not, not much to see here, but you can actually scare people off just by going through here right to the main gates. I have always loved such glitches in World of Warcraft. Just you know, finding this was such a joy. People are actually uh, fighting with uh, training damage in here probably. Yeah, look at those broken textures. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, we're right at the gates. Uh, you actually cannot climb all of those walls, so... Not much to see here, unfortunately. But if you're curious or just want to fool around, then you can come here. And you can just boo, do like, peekaboo. There we go. We're back in front of the gate. So, I uh, hope this quick guide will help you to set up the interface. I personally also think that it's quite clean. I do really love it. Initially, I haven't actually liked LVY that much, but after spending some time and setting it up, 
uh, I wouldn't actually go back to like expert or standard UI. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one as always. Take care. Bye bye.